हेलो टू ऑल ऑफ यू नमस्कार दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए जी आयर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी प्रमोशन एसोसिएशन एंड चेयरमैन ऑफ द फोरम दैट इज बीइंग हेल्ड टुमारो द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ मार्च फ्राइडे 2022 फ्राइडे द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मार्च 2022 एंड दिस फोरम इज द एलेवेंथ एंड पावर सोलर ट्वेंटी एज वेल एज दिक्स RPO conclave 2022 RPO is renewable portfolio obligations so very important discussion and on this cut and razor i want to tell you that we have some eminent personas who are joining us and i welcome all of you to join us tomorrow at 11:30 am with us the 11:30 to 3:30 pm that's the time frame that we have these discussions on very important for this country and our target is to discuss the very important timeline of 2027 when we propose to have at least 60% of our portfolio of energy generation from the renewable energy segment or the renewable energy portfolio so what is the present scenario when we are talking we are at 160 gigawatt of uh, renewable energy which includes hydropower solar wind and bio energy all this combined together works to about 160 gigawatt of a total installed capacity of 400 gigawatt in real terms although the installed capacity looks to be 40 gigawatt but uh, actually we are getting about 25 gigawatt of generation terms renewable energy uh, and predominantly still uh, we are powered by the coal based base load power plants and uh, hydro is a very big saver because the 46 gigawatt of hydro that we have almost ends up giving us close to 35 gigawatt in generation terms while while the rest of the portfolio which is wind and solar together has lower efficiencies uh, or uh, conversion factors and and they they uh, can only generate 25% of what is we have about 100 gigawatt of uh, wind and solar put together and uh, uh, with solar dominating now because solar is across the 50 gigawatt uh, range and uh, wind is in the 40 gigawatt range so together these two actually uh, if you consider that about 100 gigawatt of them then uh, we are only getting 25 gigawatt of traction from these so these are the realities but then our challenge is for the climate action and to have a uh, what repa always believes in and it is our motto is positive affirmative action for climate change or simply positive action for climate change uh, or climate equity which is pace positive action for climate equity has been our motto and this is what to gain pace it's very important for us to promote renewable energy in much bigger quantums and uh, uh, have a good hybrid between the large capacities and decentralized and distributed uh, manner in which uh, renewable energy can progress in this country so we have some very eminent personas tomorrow with us we have the chief guest uh, shri tarun kapoor ji who's thankfully consented and in principle agreed to be there tomorrow uh i was a former secretary of the ministry of petroleum natural gas and also former joint secretary with the ministry of new and renewable energy government of india and the great day is we have tomorrow our consulate general of ho chi minh city vietnam who is also partnering us for this forum it is none other than dr madan mohan sethi the honorable consul general of india at ho chi minh city in vietnam he is going to be one of the prime speakers and also a co-chief guest with uh, tarun kapoor ji and he will put up the possible uh, equation that can be between india and vietnam to expand renewable energy is a very important country for us just like our cooperation with bhutan on the renewable energy especially hydro and it will probably expand to solar vietnam is a very important country for india to have a collaboration and movement towards a bilateral and other issues of progressing on renewable energy both in terms of integration and technology manufacturing and capacity build up of renewable energy which includes hydropower solar wind tidal and uh, also bio energy which is compressed biogas there's a big opportunity which tarun kapoor led when he was uh, in the ministry of petroleum which is the satat scheme we built a report at report satat plus for 10000 uh, cbg plants with 50 billion dollar outlay the earlier outlay was 25 a uh, billion with 5000 plants which the ministry is already working out on and we have about a dozen plants on the ground and 200 uh, plants under construction about 2500 odd lois 
uh, in place. So uh, there is a great hope for this to transform the rural sector where from the waste, agro waste and animal husbandry waste we can produce compressed biogas. So that is that's one thing that is also part of the renewable energy train for us. Then we have also Mr. Aran Khazanchi who needs no introduction who is a former uh, you know, uh, MD of uh, projects in Bhutan, hydropower projects like Tala and Puna Sanchu, he has led them and he is also the presidential awardee uh, for Pravasi Bharatiya and he also is the highest civil owner, holder of the highest civilian honor of Bhutan, the Duk Tukse and his excellency will also be joining us, Aran Khazanchi sir. Then we have Dr. Vishwamohan Bansal, chairman of the New Delhi Institute of Management who was, uh, the institute is also collaborating with us as the uh, for this forum as a, a, a supporting partner or uh, institutional partner the new delhi institute of management a, an excellent institution of excellence and with industry interface three time winner of the ciict award for uh, the best industry interface institution in the country in the b schools category so dr mansal is also with us we also have other another great persona sri rajiv kumar shivastava former Executive Director BHEL Bharat Heavy Electric for the Renewable Energy ROD Division and he is with us to give a complete insight on the manufacturing side and how we can progress on renewable manufacturing and making making in India for our mission is very important. If we have to advance to 400 gigawatt of solar by 2027 and it will need a lot of manufacturing capacity in India. The present capacity for modules uh, in the country is about 12 gigawatt and for cells it's roughly around 4 gigawatt but uh, uh, it is nowhere near what the capacities are available in nearby China because China has about 250 gigawatt of manufacturing capacity per annum now that is built up although they may be using it at 50 percent uh, post COVID but that's the kind of installed capacity we have. So these discussions will also come into play and uh, the leadership of uh, India in this zone is very important uh, because at this point it looks like uh, almost 70 percent of all renewable uh, raw material and technology is going to come from China at this point. But then India will be definitely in the leadership position and we have the great opportunity of the ante for us with our own expansion domestically. Then we have our solar leader from Bhutan, Karma Jigme, who was the first man to put up uh, rooftop solar on the UN building in Bhutan and is doing a lot of great work over there. After the hydro success in Bhutan, Mr. Karma Jigme, founder of JP JB Solar Solutions Bhutan will be joining us as well. In addition to that, we have definitely deliberations on the RET Renewable Energy Technologies and we will talk about the best solar companies in the country as well as we will talk about 10 top ranked states in India which we have done the ranking and we will be discussing that as well tomorrow. Uh, for the rep sixth repa state rankings there's a sixth series series of ranking for 2022 now so these two will also be there the session will be open for all stalwarts to join us and contribute and uh, with this short video and uh, telling you that we the forum is also uh, supported by chemtrol solar virgin renusis ikrato solar and myson so these are the companies that are backing us and our own initiative uh, where we have a center of excellence with the New Delhi Institute of Management, this is World Institute for Renewable Energy, is the research backing for this entire forum. With this, I look forward to all of you joining us tomorrow. Of course, I must say that we have people like PVS and Murthy and uh, uh, stalwarts uh, like uh, DP Goyal and several others joining us on the day, including N. Murgeshan, the former DG CPRI. And these, these people will also be there with us in our debate and discourses tomorrow. And uh, another, another gentleman who is with us uh, is none other than the Indo-Vietnam uh, Chamber of Commerce in India, its president. And uh, he is also the chairman of the All-State Group. It is Mr. Ajay Kanturiya who will be part of this discussions tomorrow. So with this short brief that and asking all of you to join us strongly and be part of our deliberations of the 11th Empower Solar 2022 and the 6th Renewable Portfolio Obligation Conclave 
2022 tomorrow the 25th of march friday 11:30 am onwards sharp okay my friends see you bye bye namaskar